वेलकम एवरी वन वेलकम टू वीडियो पार्ट ऑफ आर्टिकल ऑन हाउ टू इंटरफेस ब्लूटूथ मेडोल विद एनी काइंड ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एस आई आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू इंटरफेस अ ब्लूटूथ मेडोल आर एन फोर्टी टू विद माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड आई सपोज दैट यू हैव अ नॉलेज अबाउट वट इज़ ब्लूटूथ हाउ टू इंटरफेस ब्लूटूथ मेडोल हार्डवेयर हार्डवेयर पार्ट ऑफ इंटरफेसिंग ब्लूटूथ मेडोल विद पिक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई विल टीच यू हाउ टू राइट कोड फॉर इंटरफेसिंग ब्लूटूथ मेडोल विद पिक माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड हाउ टू यूज माइक्रो कंट्रोलर टू सेंड कंट्रोल कमांड्स टू ब्लूटूथ मेडोल so basically in this tutorial i going to teach you how uh, you can interface uh, software part uh, software part of interfacing a bluetooth module with the with the uh, microcontroller so let's start with the, uh, uh, a simple example uh, as uh, as you can see uh, how to develop firmware using rn42 Uh, let me let me give you one example first uh, here we have a uh, lcd module a microcontroller and a bluetooth and and i suppose that it is at a, uh, a remote location and we have a pc and a bluetooth uh, med, um, bluetooth module and uh, let's suppose we have a laptop which has built in bluetooth module so it is at it is located at a control uh, con central control room and we want to send data from our remote location to uh, center control room thr uh, through uh, to bluetooth devices and Uh, i suppose that uh, the distance between a uh, remote location and a uh, uh, center control room is about 100 100 meter so uh, we can easily use bluetooth modules so uh, 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 in central control room if we have a laptop then uh, uh, laptop and latest laptop have uh, definitely a built in uh, bluetooth module which have which have a built in functionality to respond to any kind of devices and so we have uh, nothing to uh, worry about it and and uh, we uh, we have no need to uh, work on built in uh, bluetooth module of a laptop so uh, the uh, the thing we uh, need to work is uh, remote location bluetooth module and it's interfacing with pick micro controller so what we want uh, in this project uh, we want a micro controller to uh, let's suppose uh, we have connected to uh, so let's suppose we have connected uh, two temperature sensors at a remote location and uh, these temperature sensors are interface with the uh, remote location micro controller uh, and we want to read the uh, temperature and uh, uh, pressure value of these sensors and uh, we want to send pressure and temperature value via a bluetooth serial uh, bluetooth wireless communication to a central control room and uh, now uh, the things we need to send these value these values from one remote location to a center control room is definitely a bluetooth module so we uh, we should know how bluetooth module can send data from one point from one bluetooth module to another so uh, we uh, as i have already discussed in uh, uh, written article we are using rn42 bluetooth module so we need to uh, take a look inside and uh, commands of uh, bluetooth module rn42 so that we can interface it uh, with the microcontroller and uh, we can use uh, microcontroller to send uh, control commands to bluetooth module and control commands should should work uh, should work in such a way that it can uh, bluetooth module which is connected with the microcontroller from remote location and send values from uh, Uh, remote location to center control room so uh, let's take a look how to use a bluetooth module and how to connect uh, one bluetooth module to another before starting uh, uh, before starting a bluetooth module uh, how to uh, connect one bluetooth device to another we, uh, as we already know uh, everything have address so every wireless communication device have address if you are using a wifi definitely it have a, it uh, must have some um, name or address and uh, same like in bluetooth every bluetooth device have address so in our in, this is the picture of uh, bluetooth module and uh, what is address of bluetooth module uh, when you purchase rn42 and uh, uh, you uh, when when to, when you look at mac number there are One, two, three, four, five, six, and twelve digits. Uh, first, uh, uh, these twelve uh, these twelve di uh, digits are basically a uh, uh, number of address of Bluetooth module. 
in this uh, number uh, the zero uh, zero 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 and triple six portion of the dress is the uh, manufacture of the module it is uh, assigned to the manufacturer of the module who is manufacturing this modem and uh, and uh, four two uh, four double two one uh, five two portion of the module is the more unique ID of the device so it's mean uh, 422152 is basically a ID of the device which no uh, no uh, other device uh, in whole world can have this unique number but triple zero triple six is a manufacturer ID so every uh, Bluetooth module uh, which is developed by microchip definitely have a uh, triple uh, zero and triple six uh, um, address but uh, letter uh, part uh, 422152 uh, can never be a uh, number of any other any other uh, bluetooth module so uh, uh, when we want to connect one bluetooth module, um, module with another bluetooth module so definitely uh, second device uh, second bluetooth device also have a uh, uh, unique address so we can uh, when uh, we uh, we use control commands to uh, send request to uh, one bluetooth device to another bluetooth device like uh, and every bluetooth uh, so uh, Every Bluetooth uh, module have a unique uh, ID uh, as in this picture we have a 422152 is a unique ID of this uh, Bluetooth module. So how connecting process starts uh, when uh, two Bluetooth devices want to connect with each other. So there are basically a steps and uh, these steps are in query first of all uh, 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 you can want to connect our, uh, this Bluetooth device to another uh, Bluetooth device Let, let's suppose in our project we want to connect a uh, remote location Bluetooth device to a central control, um, control room Bluetooth device so uh, uh, Bluetooth device at uh, uh, remote location will send inquiry to Bluetooth device at central control room if two Bluetooth devices uh, know uh, absolutely nothing about each other, one must run an inquiry to, uh, to try to discover the other. And uh, any device listening for such a request will respond with its address and possibility its name or uh, the other information. So when both devices know each other, so they will share uh, with each other its name and uh, its address. They, when they know each other, they start pairing. When then, uh, when uh, when pairing occurs, uh, connection established, and uh, now both devices can send data to each other. So, uh, how uh, RN42? How can we how how can we connect uh, the uh, one device to uh, another device uh, with the help of microcontroller? How can, uh, how microcontroller can send uh, instructions to uh, Bluetooth module to connect uh, to another uh, device or uh, to microcontroller ask uh, uh, Bluetooth module to uh, check inquiry, check for uh, Bluetooth devices. Uh, for this purpose, you have to study uh, data and co uh, command modes of uh, RN42. Uh, RN42 uh, have two types of commands command mode and data mode uh, all right uh, command mode uh, is used to set uh, configurations of uh, uh, RN42 and uh, data mode is used to send uh, actual data uh, you want to send uh, uh, from uh, from uh, Bluetooth device at uh, center control uh, from uh, Bluetooth device at uh, uh, at uh, remote location to Bluetooth device at uh, central control room. So, uh, uh, first of all, uh, while interfacing, while writing a program for uh, 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 interfacing of Bluetooth module with the microcontroller, you have to write control uh, uh, command mode. You have to write commands for uh, uh, for micro for Bluetooth module to inquire uh, to find some uh, to find some Bluetooth devices. So, 
first of all uh, i have already told you what is command mode what is data mode so, uh, but uh, one should uh, consider one uh, another thing uh, there is a configuration time but there is a specified time for uh, command mode uh, you have to c complete your uh, command instructions in this uh, in this specified time otherwise uh, if this timer is uh, overload the uh, um, um, bluetooth module will automatically go into data mode uh, and uh, your uh, uh, bluetooth and, and uh, uh, configuration commands will set to default values so uh, now we will uh, i will uh, i will tell you how to use uh, command modes uh, to set configuration of your bluetooth module so uh, first of all if you want to go uh, if you want to go into command mode uh, what will what you will do uh, you will write uh, so to uh, enter into a command mode uh, what you will do you will write uh, uh, three times this symbol uh, uh, let me write it I don't know the name of this symbol uh, you will write this symbol three times it's mean you will serially transmit uh, from over uh, from your microcontroller to Bluetooth module three times this symbol and uh, when you uh, when this uh, this uh, three times this symbol will transfer to Bluetooth module Bluetooth module will automat automatically enter into uh, into your uh, command mode then then you have to perform a, a, a command mode instructions to set uh, uh, baud rate uh, bluetooth module name bluetooth module address uh, every uh, i have as i have already told you every bluetooth device have a uh, uh, its unique id baud rate baud rate mean uh, as you are, you already know number of bits transfer per second and pin code pin code is very necessary whenever you connect your bluetooth device with another bluetooth device and uh, they always uh, 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 one bluetooth device is always ask you for a, a pin code so configuration mode basically uh, we going to uh, configuration mode to set uh, pin code and uh, uh, a baud rate and you can also set your device name in uh, with uh, in text form as well as you see in your mobile you always uh, use to set your bluetooth uh, device name with your own name or uh, anything you want so in uh, in configuration in uh, configuration uh, mode you can also set uh, the name of your uh, uh, device as a in in a text format so now you have to use commands to set uh, the uh, the name of these bits so what what are these commands how to, how you can use these commands so uh, uh, these commands basically call at commands so uh, to learn these commands uh, i will recommend you to go through a data sheet as i already opened this data sheet of uh, rn42 uh, I, as i al always recommend to new learners to uh, uh, go to that and go to data three um, data sheet of anything first uh, whatever you are using for example if you are using a simple microcontroller i strongly recommend you to go t go through uh, data sheet of this device it will give you uh, it will ensure you the protection of your device it will also uh, give you the idea how how to use this thing uh, uh, i ha as i have uh, i have also learned uh, how to, uh, these things and uh, i also learned everything about uh, embedded system through data sheet of different devices so uh, sorry for disturbance uh, as my room is near to <laughs> road that's why you are listening these voices uh, so com coming back to data sheet uh, so uh, data sheet is very important so uh, in data sheet go to uh, com uh, commands uh, where is command it might be at the end mm. so these are the command reference so these are the 80 commands you will uh, you will use to uh, set configuration bits and uh, to send data to uh, to your uh, central control room so i will i recommend uh, you to study these uh, these commands as your own and uh, use these commands via your serial communication to send your uh, to set configuration bits of your uh, bluetooth module and uh, how uh, after uh, after 
using uh, command instructions you will and also see uh, in this module uh, you have uh, data commands as well so uh, i hope that uh, you have uh, gained uh, very good knowledge through my uh, article and a video um, uh, i i will also made a video tutorial in future and uh, sorry for my bad english uh, because i am not a native english speaker but uh, still i try to uh, convey you my knowledge through uh, through my uh, english which is not good uh, i i but i still i hope that you must gain uh, uh, persistent knowledge uh, through my written tutorial and my video so Thanks for watching this video. Allah